Welcome back, beautiful people. My name is Jonathan. Welcome to Seven Circles. Happy spring. I know it's not here yet, but it's around the corner. Also, hopefully you adjusted your time so that you're on time. And speaking of time, I think it's the perfect time for me to discuss calibration. I think it's time that we all get calibrated. And especially uh, now that spring is around the corner. What is calibration? A lot of people don't understand the power and the necessity of calibration. You know, back in the days, uh, not really so much nowadays, but when you have a lot of touch screens or even like with the old computer screens when you're moving the mouse cursor around you might try to click on something and that thing you're clicking on it won't go there maybe the little purse pointer cursor will go over here so what you have to do is you have to recalibrate it and the way that you recalibrate it they will say okay hold your finger here on the screen five seconds hold your finger here five seconds blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and then the screen will recalibrate therefore you go to touch on whatever menu it goes to menu not on start right and it's the same thing with the uh, thermometer. You, you know, I used to be a chef, right? We had two methods of checking, of adjusting a thermometer in culinary um, and cooking. One was the boiling point method and one was the freezing point method. Water boils at 212 degrees, water freezes at 232 degrees, right? So what we would do is we take a thermometer, we put it in the water. Once it boils, we adjust it, the gauge, or we just turn it all the way to 212. That way we know that is accurate because no matter where you go on this planet, as far as we know, water is always going to boil at 212 degrees. Sometimes things get out of out of um, sync. They need time to recalibrate. And the same thing with you. Same thing with me, right? When I say you, I'm talking about me because what we forget, right? What we forget is that we are the best instrument. We, meaning the human body. The human body is an instrument, right? This is not Jonathan. This body, this is not me. Uh, I reside inside of here somewhere, right? I'm controlling this being, right, that we call Jonathan. But it takes time for, I mean, because of this reality that we live in and because of uh, lack of uh, discipline or doing things that I shouldn't be doing. Like, for instance, yesterday I ate white rice. Um, basmati, right? I know I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't even be eating cooked, cooked, cooked food, right? Like mine. Well, I know my potential, so I put my things all the way up here, right? But because of that, it puts my body out of whack, right? And so I have to put my body back into alignment. And a way that we can do that to put your body back into alignment is by calibrating it. So how do you calibrate the body, right? We can calibrate the screen by touching it like that, touching it like that. Right, we can calibrate the thermometer by putting it in the water. And there's many other ways to calibrate a lot of other technology and things that we have. But how do you calibrate the human body? I'm gonna tell you how you do it. But if you, I'm gonna wait till five seconds and you can guess and type down low, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna hook you up just because I'm feeling good today. For real, for real. But you can't cheat because I'm gonna tell you right now. This is how you calibrate the body, and there are many ways to calibrate it. But this is the best way because I think it helps out everything. Because yes, the human body is an instrument. And this method that I'm about to tell you would totally calibrate everything. But keep in mind, your eyes, you can just calibrate your eyes. Your mouth, you can calibrate your mouth. Your, your um, tasting, right? You can calibrate that. Your feeling, you can calibrate so many things in your body so that these instruments are more fine-tuned. It's like uh, glasses, right? A lot of people wear glasses. Oh, I need glasses, right? right? Well, do you really need glasses or do you really just need a, cal a calibration? Right? Do you really need something in front of your eyes? Or do you need a calibration? A lot of times we need a calibration. So what, are the, what am I talking about? This calibration of bringing everything back into alignment, back to its natural state, back to a state of harmony. How do we do that? You guessed it. Fasting. Fasting, fasting, fasting. And of course, you know, I had Eli Tom Elmi on the channel. He talked about not necessarily fasting, but not introducing food to the body, living off of pranic energy right man this is how we calibrate the body this is why so many diseases and aches and pains and everything goes away when people fast i think it was Sadhguru. he said you have a thousand uh, he said you have a hundred problems and you fast all of 99 problems go away just one problem hunger <laughs> he said but if you eat you know you have 99 problems, but the one solution that you have is the food, right? It's so it's like we take this sacrifice, but the reason why is because a lot of the foods that we eat aren't really food. They're just processed products that people make up. It's a business, 
Real food doesn't have ingredients on it. Real food doesn't have a nutrition thing. Real food, you just pick it off the tree or eat it or whatever. Even, you don't even need to get it from the tree. You can get it directly from this atmosphere that is all around. This is what Terrence uh, Howard was talking about when he was talking about what he was talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then, hey, let me know. And I talk about it. Uh, but, yeah, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Fasting. Fasting, fasting, fasting. And it really, it takes three days. Three days to recalibrate, break the body. I try to fast at least uh, 12 times a year, right? At least, you know, three days every season, right? Going into spring, going into the equinox, the uh, whatever, right? The solstice. Those, in my opinion, are the best time because it gives, it gives your body time to recalibrate, to readjust, to retune, to refine, just to realign, to the God frequency that you are. So I wanted to make this video to remind you that we're going into spring, it's around the corner. The time is already forward. The energies are high. You look on the, on the ground, the grass is growing up. It, it, everything is vibrant and green. That You feel it in the air, the birds are happy. Recalibrate yourself. Recalibrate yourself and you will enjoy your life so much more. The, after you get done recalibrating, the tasting, what do you think after you, you're done fasting? Things taste a lot better because your senses are recalibrated. Why you think you can see a lot better? Because you got all that mucus and stuff out. You can smell a lot better. You got everything out. You recalibrated your body. So, recalibrate. My name is John, and I appreciate all you beautiful people for tuning into Seven Circles. Do me a favor. Have a great day, great week, great month, great year, and a great life. Until next time, peace.